Hello, everybody, and welcome to the Magic Kingdom. You know, it's really funny uh, when you don't have kids, you don't really pay attention to holidays, and we were absolutely blown away. This was about 30 minutes after Magic Kingdom opened, so about 9:30 in the morning. Magic Kingdom opened at nine, and we were just like, "What are all these people doing here?" And, well, it was Columbus Day weekend. So as you can see, there was no shortage of crowds at the ticket booth at, Matt, at the, uh, sorry, the Transportation and Ticket Center. Unbelievably crowded. You know, whenever we come first thing in the morning, you know, you always have the monorail or you have a ferry boat to choose from. But we always go for the bus if it is available. And this morning it was available. So the bus is pretty cool because it drops you off right in front, past security. Uh, you don't have to worry about waiting for one. They are super, super quick. All these buses that you see are just waiting to take people to Magic Kingdom. So when you go up to the bus, you'll tell them how many people you have and they'll tell you to stand on a number. And unfortunately, we did miss this first bus, but no big deal. The second bus was literally right behind it. This is a very comfortable way to get over to the Magic Kingdom as well. Like I said, whenever they have the bus service, we've always opted to take it. So this is what it actually looks like when you are on the bus. And I apologize because I know that my uh, camera angle gets a little bit crazy over here. But we were in seat number one, so it's actually, uh, you're sitting in them and then there's some across from you. So it's really broken down into groups of four. And of course, Magic Kingdom was set up for the fall. So one of the really cool things, we've never done the Mickey's Not So Scary Halloween party. And to be honest, you know, we're gonna see all of the floats and all the parades today. And uh, we really didn't feel like we're missing out on Mickey's Not So Scary. So that'll be the cool thing about this video. You'll see some Columbus Day crowds, but you'll also see a lot of really, really cool parades that you wouldn't really normally see any other time. So again, here we're here about 45 minutes after park opening, and you can kind of see the crowd levels. It's kind of hard to, to gauge the crowds until you actually start trying to get into lines. And uh, yeah, we only went on Haunted Mansion today and Carousel of Progress. That was it. And you'll see later on in the video some of the absolutely crazy lines that I've never seen at Magic Kingdom before. No matter what time of the year, this is always just the most amazing view. And I just love the fall time. I love the pumpkins lining Main Street. But we got really, really lucky because as we were coming down Main Street, we could hear the music starting. And that's why people are moving out of the way onto the sidewalk. So this is our first parade of the day. And this is the Mickey's Not So Scary Boo To You float. We're at the end of the parade route on Main Street, and I really have to give it up to these dancers. I mean, they did not lose any energy at all. They're having such a great time, and it was hot, hot, hot today. Literally, the next clip that we're gonna go into is another cavalcade. And the cavalcades were probably going by every 15 minutes today. It was crazy. And that's why we were able to grab all the videos of all of the cavalcades. So literally right as soon as we got into Liberty Square, we already hit Goofy's float. This is a normal float that we've been seeing in Magic Kingdom for quite a few months now. It's nothing 
too special, not like some of the other uh, cavalcades that we're going to see today. Our main priority every time we come here is to go on Splash Mountain, which is my absolute favorite ride in Magic Kingdom. And after Goofy passed, we headed over that way to kind of see what the situation was looking like. And boy, oh boy, I have never seen the line this long before. So before we show you the line, let's take a look. This is 11.40 in the morning. You're gonna see a, there's my watch. And look at these lines, absolutely unbelievable. I'm telling you, the only ride we were brave enough to wait for, just because this was, this was the last time we were coming before Halloween was the Haunted Mansion. It was insane. From far away, it looked like Big Thunder Mountain's line was moving uh, until we actually went up to it and saw where the line started. So yeah, this is the line for Splash Mountain, and behind it is going to be the line starting on that boardwalk over by Tom Sawyer Island for Big Thunder Mountain. No, thank you. But once again, very regularly, once we're rounding this corner, I see people standing at the entrance where the floats come out. And I was like, you know what? I'm pretty sure there's going to be another cavalcade. And sure enough, we were treated by another one. And this is another one that is exclusive to Mickey's Not-So-Scary Halloween Party. Um, Oogie Boogie is supposed to be on this one, but it was raining. So Jack and Sally had these really cute season umbrellas so they could still go out. And later on in the day, Oogie Boogie was on their float, and he was also on, I believe it was Mickey's float. So that was really nice to see. And here we go with, of course, the line for Pirates of the Caribbean. Another super, super, super long line, and this is what makes me so fortunate to be a pass holder. Yeah, we were not waiting in this line. And like I said, we'd not wait in any lines. Here's another view, now we're behind the castle. Let's see what the crowd level looks like in, in Fantasyland. And I, this is this, the line across for Mickey's Filler Magic. Um, the amount of, of strollers was just absolutely insane. I'm so glad that they really are pushing and are really supportive of the mobile ordering because there's nothing worse than being hungry and waiting in line. So that was really, really awesome. We did try, I didn't get a video of it, but at the ice cream place over here, we did get that uh, Four Unfortunate Souls, which was like a cheesecake, purple cheesecake ice cream with like Coca-Cola or Pepsi or whatever. And it was really, really good. But yeah, I mean, just look at all those strollers compared to other times that we have been at Magic Kingdom. The crowds are very, very large. And of course, to cool down, after walking around the entire park and seeing how long the lines were everywhere, the good old Carousel of Progress never, ever disappoints. If you have an Android, there's an app, it's, um, I think it's called Hidden Mickey Finder, and there's two Hidden Mickeys in the scene over in the Christmas tree area. So if you're ever looking for something else to do, that's a really, really cool free app. It's only on Android, it's not on Apple, uh, but something, something neat. So this is another one that you'll see, you know, we've, we've been seeing this the whole time at Magic Kingdom, and this will be the princesses. Do you see that open window right across the street from where I'm sitting? Yeah, that window is actually a speaker. So if you watch before the uh, 
ray it hits this area, the window's closed, and then it opens. And then the same thing afterwards. It closes after the floats go by. And there's actually another window on the other side of that building as well that does the exact same thing, which is really, really cool. I know other people have said this, and I'll say it again as well. I really like these cavalcades. I really hate the parades. I hate how bottleneck it makes everything walking around. The cavalcades are great because, as you saw, there were, oh, I don't know, I have to think now, four or five of them maybe today that were different. And they really were going like every 15 or 20 minutes. It was awesome. And honestly, I am much prefer this to the um, the normal parades that just just really cause roadblocks and congestion. We were sitting over here. This is one of the exits of the gift shop that we were sitting at, and of course we were sitting there just long enough to hit another parade. So this would be villain. And this literally came about 15 minutes um, after that, that the princess cavalcade came through. You can see across the way those two open windows that are the speakers for the parade music. Okay, and the only reason I did this one again, we were still at the same spot, is that now Boogie Boogie is on the back with Jack and Sally. It's not raining anymore, so he was able to come out, which was really, really cool to see. This was the one ride we waited in line for, and we went all the way down by the, uh, by the riverboat. And the big entertainment for the day down here was this turtle that was in the water. The kids were just going crazy. And you could see it in the bottom uh, right hand corner of the screen. Swimming in the water and these kids behind us were like, oh, he's following us. This is so cool. <laughs> so I hope you enjoy this insight into Magic Kingdom on Columbus Day weekend. Still very magical, but very, very, very busy. Here comes Mr. Turtle. <laughs>